Katie here and today I'm going to be filming a tutorial for you guys. It's just a really pretty eye look and I pulled inspiration from the colors of the leaves changing outside my house right now and they're just a really pretty kind of gold, red, um, copper kind of color to them. So I just decided to put that into my eye look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, first we're going to take our NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and French Fries and it's a really pretty warm brown and it looks like it has like a gold undertone to it and that's what it looks like. And we're just going to put it all over our lid and shape our crease some so we can have a guideline to use later. So just put it close to your lash line first. And then blend it up some all over your lid. And then now you're going to want to start shaping your crease like that. And then you're going to take some on your finger like that and you're going to use it to blend it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're putting more eyeshadow over this. Okay, like that. Next, using a flat shader brush, we're going to take the New York Color Palette Individualized for Blue Eyes, and this is what it looks like, and we're using the gold color in it right there. We're just going to take it and dip the gold in it some, and then tap it off. And we're going to take it and put it in the inner half of your eye first. So you're just going to take it and pat it right over the French fries. Just like that. Okay, next we're going to take Max Mythology and it's just a really pretty penny type color. And that's what it looks like. Now the camera distorts the color some, but it looks like a penny. And you're just going to take another, the flat shader brush again and dip it in there and you're going to want to tap it off. And you're going to put it right next to the gold on the outer half, not going into the crease. And you're going to take the brush and kind of blend right between the gold and the metal. Next, using a crease brush, we're going to take the NYX Single Eyeshadows, and this is the color Copper, and it is like a copper color, and we're just going to dip our crease brush on there and then tap it off again, and we're just going to go back over that crease line we did and fill in the crease. Just like that, and you're going to bring it in some, not all the way in, but like about middle way to the gold. And you're going to take a nice fluffy brush and you're just going to blend it out. Next we're going to take a nice pretty highlight color and we're going to stick with a matte color since the rest of the eye is so shimmery. And I'm just using this Estee Lauder palette. Um, I don't know what the exact palette name is. I got it from my mom. She's had it. And I think the color we're using is Ginger Drop for Cappuccino Light. I'm not sure, but it's a really pretty white matte color. And that's what it looks like right there. And we're just going to take it and build the color up on our brush. Tap it off. And we're just going to put it right underneath our brow bone for our highlight. Like that. And next, what we're going to want to do is, I'm going to take this Maybelline's Expert Wear Single Eyeshadow in Champagne Fizz, and that's what it looks like, and we're just going to take that and build it up, and uh, not build it up, but put it in the inner corner, so just like that, and then bring it down right next to your tear duct, and so you have a nice pretty inner highlight. Okay, now for our eyeliner, we're just going to take a gel eyeliner 
and I'm using the um, Positions Formula Custom Eye Enhancing Gel Cream Liner and it's just a black with blue um, sparkles on it and it's for the Blue Eye collection and that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the sparkles in it but it has blue sparkles to bring out blue eyes and so I'm just taking the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush and dipping it into the gel eyeliner And we're going to do kind of like a cat eye, so it's going to be thin on the inner corner and makes its way um, to the outer corner and it's going to start building up again. And there's your top liner. And now for a bottom liner, we're just going to take that same black that we used and we're going to put it on our waterline. And we're going to do our way from the inner corner out and we're going to put it until about right there. And then we're going to put a different color next to it. You'll see what it is in a minute. Okay, so after taking the black on the inner part of your eye, we're going to take a nice blue color. And it's from the same um, Physicians Formula line. And it's just a pretty navy blue. It looks black on camera, but it is blue. And we're going to take that angled eyeliner brush again dip it in the blue and we're going to put it and we're going to finish out the line using the blue liner. Okay, so after you put on your liner, we're just going to curl our lashes and put on mascara. Now I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And this is what the tube looks like. And we're just going to put on maybe two coats on top and bottom. Okay, so after you do your eyes, we're going to do our cheeks now, and I'm going to use, let me get it, I'm going to use the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder, and it just looks like that, and we're using the um, peach color right there, and we're putting it on using an angled um, brush, so just get it in there, have the excess off and smile, and then you just going dab it on the apples of your cheeks. And now for lips. We're going to do a really nude lip since the eyes are kind of dramatic. Um, so we're just using the Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Soft Nude. And that's what it looks like. And there's the color swatch on top. And I actually really love this lipstick. I love Revlon's lip products. They're amazing. And they're not that expensive at all. And that's what the color on the tube looks like. So we're just going to take it and put it all over our lips. And now we're just going to take a lip gloss and put over that. And again, we're using the Revlon um, Color Burst Lip Gloss. And this is Sunset Peach. And we're done with the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.